On Sunday afternoon, one person was killed after suspected bandits raided two villages along the border of West Pokot and Tukana County. The bandits allegedly stole two guns belonging to the National Police Reservice and made away with hundreds of cows and goats. <laughs> MPs from Tukana County now want West Pokot Governor Professor John Nyangapo arrested owing to the ongoing skirmishes at Kainuk and other adjacent villages. They are demanding all leaders must be held accountable if found to be fueling intercommunity warfare. Uh, we have five counties crying, all crying because of one community. Uh, we have Elgeo Marakwet County. It's crying because of the Pokot community. Samburu County, particularly the areas inhabited by the Turkanas, that is uh, Baragoi, uh, Baring, uh, Samburu North, Baragoi, Nachola, those areas. Uh, Laikipia County, Baringo County, and Turkana County. Kama wala nyanga kuwa nasema ataki ya mani, anataka fita, atapatana na fita. Fita ya jalala, sisi unyeo tunajua fita vilo hiko. Lakini hatutaki fita, watu atapoteza maisha. Kwa hivyo, wala nyanga kuwa, asionge tena kusema alipigwa, akupigwa. At the same time, they are calling on the government to ensure medical and food supplies are provided to those affected after the only road connecting the region was closed. Hakuna chakula imefikia wa tulikuena kuanzia juzi. Hakuna mboga imefika ambaye natoka kitali. Hakuna matunda ambaye natoka kapenguria. Watu wetu wanaumia sana. Plunder and theft of public... Meanwhile, a section of young parliamentarians are decrying what they claim is the youth being sidelined in the ongoing Building Bridges Initiative instigated by President Huru Kenyatta and Railo Dinga. The five lawmakers, accompanied by youth and university student leaders, have prepared a proposal for a constitutional review which they plan to present to the Building Bridges Initiative team. Among the proposals is the introduction of the position of a prime minister whose deputy must be a youth. The first proposition you are taking to the BBI team is that the president must serve one term of seven years so that we remove the premium we've put at the presidents. We do not want to have a yoke of incumbents at the ballot again. Kevin Washira, Channel 1 News.